Okay, so firstly we'll take a look at the gear. I recommend between um, a, around 20 uh, plus per hour. We find if you're having less, then you're always going to need to bring more restores and then more sweets to make up for that loss. But around 20 per hour, if you have more, then obviously you can bring less restores. But um, you have to judge it really. And then um, obviously one range pot and then sweets. Um, and then bring as many brews as you can past that level. If you are as low as 70 range, I'd recommend bringing maybe 16 or 17 restores and then stacking up on more sweets because of the lack of range levels. But anywhere between that is the judgment, really. So between 15 and 17 restores. Um, okay, then how to get there. If you go to your quest tab and then go to click the red button, uh, select a minigame, and then go to Zazar Fight Pit. Then when you're ready, just click teleport and then run along the passage and you'll be in the caves. Alright guys, so if you've done the caves before and you want to know a specific part of it, then there's little links on the screen there to click on them. And there's also the full guide on commentary down in the bottom right. Okay, so throughout the caves there's going to be quite a few different monsters that you're going to be fighting. One of these is the bird, level 22, which lowers your prayer. We, you should try and kill this as fast as possible. Okay, the next monster is a level 45, which is melee based. Once killed, this is turned into two level 22s, which are also melee based. This monster can be used to block 90s and 360s, so try and leave this till last. The next monster is a level 90, which is range based. This can be quite troublesome for pures, as it hits quite high on uh, one defense. So try and get this in a block. If you can't block it or safe spot it, then kill it as soon as possible. This is again one of the easier monsters, a level 180 melee, which as long as you're in a safe spot can't hit you. It's also quite easy to prey flick, as you can see the animation. Uh, if, oh, obviously it's standing next to you. Um, and also it can be used to block and safe spot other monsters. Okay, so this is the second highest monster in the caves. You shouldn't really worry about this because obviously you're going to be protecting mage. Try and avoid prey flicking because um, its attacks are quite out of time. Uh, to the animation, you have to rely on sounds, which I wouldn't suggest. Um, but yeah, don't worry about this monster. It's only when there's a range. You have to kill the range first or get in the block. But um, as long as you're praying mage against this, there should be no worry at all. Okay, so the final two monsters are going to come up in the caves is Jad and Healers. Um, this is level 702 and 108. But um, the only thing you got to worry about Jad is looking at his feet and trying to rely on the sounds if you can't see his feet. Um, I'll show the sounds later on in the video if you want to uh, skip forward to them and have a look. And also when the healers do spawn, do not panic, just keep your eye on Jad and um, the healers will do damage but just you know, keep your eye on Jad and make sure your full attention is on Jad. Okay, so we'll start with waves 1 to 37. I've grouped these in a sort of order that should be um, should be easy to understand and easy to break up into little sections. Um, so as you can see I'm using this rock which is in the north corner. Well, not the north corner, sorry, it's the sort of northwest corner on the north side. Uh, if you just count this rock, that safe spots any melees. And any little 22 monsters that are running around, you can just sort of run around or pray flick them to kill them quickly. And then the only thing you've got to worry is between waves 9 and 14. Uh, sorry, 9 and 15 and 22 and 30. You need to have your range prayer up because that's when the range monster is going to be there. Um, and then, yeah, these waves are reasonably easy. Um, there's, you shouldn't really take any damage until at least 38 so um yeah obviously if you're new caper you might take some damage but you know try and minimize the damage as much as you can okay so once you got all the range out of the way you will hit wave 31 which is the first uh mage wave so check your mage prayer up um just relax really because they take quite a long time to kill um and then so just sort of get uh 30 to 37 out of the way as fast as possible uh, and then i'll show you quite a good lure to use for um, waves 38 to 45. Okay, just a warning on this next five um, five minutes or so, this can get very confusing. So um, you might want to watch it over sort of two or three times, but it's definitely worth doing it as a pure. I wouldn't suggest tanking um, as you use a lot of bruising sweets. It's just expensive and probably leads to fail. If you use this technique and you actually understand it, then you can use it as many times as you want on any build. Okay, so now once you have killed off um, all the ways 1 to 37, you should be left with one of these uh, 45s. This is a way you should prepare yourself and make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Because um, if you're unprepared, then uh, you might get hit and therefore take damage and, uh, you know, higher odds of failing. So what you want to do is I'm going to try and lure these round and then show you exactly where it is so they can't attack me. Thank you. 
I just remember it as an airplane. So as you can see, there's a little airplane sort of on the floor. Um, let me just chuck my prayer up. As you can see, I have like just an airplane on the floor. It has uh, two little wings flying out the side, and then the uh, the top and tail on the on the bottom. So you want to stand completely here, and uh, I don't just kill these fucking things. Just piss me off now. Um, so as soon as you kill these off this, just whack on protect mage. If nothing attacks you within I think about seven or eight seconds, then you're fine. Nothing is going to attack you. Um, so what I'm waiting for here is a mage or a range to attack me. You want to have your sounds on so you know what you're listening for. Okay, range. So I'm going to run back. So now I'm luring the range this way. And the mage should be trapped somewhere else. So I'll run back to the... Uh, I'll run back to the airplane. Right on this sort of tip of the airplane here. And um, I shouldn't take any more damage as the major is either stuck behind this rock or stuck behind this rock. As you can see... Like I'm in line with the rock there, and also in line with the rock there, so I'm pretty much I'm in a safe spot. So if you can sort of draw a line on your map like this, and then all this space, uh, sorry, this space just here, this little box just below me, is all a safe spot. So um, if you're in that, then that's sort of your safe zone, I guess. So a good thing to little um, sort of denote. Um, if you were to run one step, this will lure any 22s down, so it will lure them down here. Um, and then if you take one more step, that will lure any more 45s. Take one more step, it will lure the 90s, but I was uh, I've killed the 90 already, so I'm not going to be attacked. Uh, one more, and it will lure the Melia, which is the 180. And if I step one more after this, it will take on the 360. Um, so what I'm going to do quickly is just run to this spot uh, with my Protect Mage up, and then run back all the way straight bang in line with this. Okay, so I'm going to put that up, run quickly, bang. Okay, it hasn't hit me. So I know it's not there, which means it's safe behind this spot. So I can run over here and just get it off. So what I'm going to do, so, so you can return quick, what I tend to do is run to the uh, southeast corner, and then it will follow, it's now in the middle of the map, and then I run straight to the northeast corner. <laughs> okay, so I know nothing's coming. It's one wave 40, I know there's two, twi oh, okay, there's a 22 that's just come out. So I'm going to run into my little safe corner and just get it off so I don't take any damage. Right, so that's dead. Hopefully there's not another one. So I'm going to test if there's a 22 up there. Nothing down there. Um, and then I'm going to test the ranger. No, it's not there either. So then I'm going to test the Major. Yeah, okay, so the Major's up there. Alright, so now I know there's a 22 and a 90 left. So I'm going to run one step out, try and get the 22 down. No, it's not there. Okay, then I run three steps out and get the range. Which also isn't there, so which means they're both over here. Over. I'm going to pray mage. Not three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I know it's a mage. I'm going to run into the corner. Bring it near me so I can kill it while still standing on the airplane. So it just hit me for the third time. Stand back on the airplane and kill it. The only one circumstance that might change um, is if nothing attacks you for the first one, as you can see on this wave, um, which is obviously good. It's better than uh, better than one of them attacking you, um, or also if they're both attacking you. If they're both attacking you, I mean the 90 and the 360, you need to run up, um, kill the 90 as soon as possible with uh, Steel Skin and Eagle Eye on to take as little damage as possible, and then as soon as you kill that, run back to the airplane and just repeat the stages until you finish wave 45. Okay, so the next part of the wave is wave 45 to wave 53, um, which is yeah, reasonably easy as long as you stay in a safe spot and uh, don't get dragged out and hit by the mage, you should be fine. At least you just camp the same spot all the way until wave 53 and you'll be absolutely fine. Just getting off the mage when you can to keep your pretty mage up um, and keeping the, um, 
keeping the 186 spot and just kill the birds when they come down. Simple as that, really. Okay, this is where the caves start getting hard. So there's three different spawns that can help you here. Either a really good spawn where the major or ranger attacks you on its own and nothing else. Excuse my phone vibrating. Um, and then you can get one where they're both attacking you where you can't lure them. And one where they're both attacking you and you can lure them. So the one you just saw just now was um, me just getting a really good spawn. This one on screen now is where they attack me, so I just kill the ranger as fast as possible. And the next one, as soon as I see them both attacking me, but they're all sort of lined up, I run straight south around the rock and then hide behind here, and then just put my protect whatever up, um, whichever one's attacking me. And luckily there's two rangers. I just kill them off, and yeah, pretty simple. Just remember to sweet up whenever you can. Um, to try and take little damage the next wave. So that's pretty much it, and I will now show you how to do the next two waves plus Jad. Alright, so wave 61 is easy really, two melees, and the mage, just pray, range, uh, pray mage, sorry, and uh, kill the mage as fast as possible, and say sort of two melees. If one does spawn next to you, if one melee does spawn next to you, just run a straight south into the rock that I used um, in the previous clip, and say spawn from there. That should drop them both. Um, so I'll show you wave 62 next. Again, wave 62 is more than easy enough, rack up pray mage, and uh, kill them both. When you got one left, run uh, sort of towards the northeast corner and um, near the lure over there. And then when you're over there, just um, kill off that, uh, kill off the one that's left, and then run back to the northeast corner with your prayers up. Which for Jad, I will show you right now. Okay, so once you killed off the two majors, you need to run to the northeast corner with your protect range, your protect, uh, sorry, your protect range, your plus fifteen percent range for the first. Um, hit you need to sort of focus on the sounds, so I'll show you the two sounds of chat just now Okay, so now you got the hard bit out of the way you detect the first hit and hopefully not got one hit You don't need to run into the middle of the caves find out exactly where it is make sure you hit your next prayer and from here on it should be reasonably easy so when it stamps its first front two feet that is going to use a range um, range attack, then when it lifts its two feet up in the air, that means it's going to do the mage attack. Okay, so now on to I'll do the hardest part of the caves, the, the healers. Um, so once you get to the healers, which is when Jad's at half HP, you need to fully focus on Jad but still attacking all the healers. Uh, and once you attack them, get into one of the rocks. Um, I normally use the ones to the north. Either, depending on where Jad is now, either kill the healers and go and kill Jad on its own, or lead the healers lined up and run straight through Jad, um, but in between one of his attacks so you don't get melee attack. Then once you've uh, killed all the healers or run straight through Jad, just carry on attacking Jad and hopefully you're done. Alright guys, so thanks for watching my guide. As you're probably seeing on the screen now, I have done this so many times, I took so many clips to try and get it, so I really appreciate it. Like, I actually got four or five games doing this. So, um, yeah, it's taken quite a long time to make this guide. Um, so if it helped you at all, please give it a like, share it between your friends, etc. If you have any comments or criticisms or any way it can make it better, leave it down in the comments. Um, also, if you have any questions, then please do leave it down in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see you in a few days for our PG video.